to say a brief word about the law of sines and cosines. These, this is a fact that you probably learned in math somewhere before me. It's a prerequisite, but it may not be on the tip of your tongue. Any triangle, it doesn't have to be a right triangle, any triangle will have this where C, this side, is the square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cosine of the angle in between them. So that would be this angle right here. That's the law of cosines. The law of sines says that the sides divided by the opposite sines a over sine alpha are all the same. These are the laws of sines and cosines, but what's important right here today is that you know them by heart because we're going to use them over and over again. We have all kinds of pictures like this in engineering where the triangles are not right triangles. So what are the triggers that make you remember that you have to use the law of sines and cosines? The first one is anytime you have a side and then the two sides and the angle in between them, that needs to be your immediate, oh yeah, I know what to do with that, that's the law of cosines. And anytime you have two angles and a side, again, you're going to need to think. I need to apply the law of sines. Unfortunately, law, the law of sines and cosines is something that may not be immediately memorized for you. Please memorize it now so that it is. Um, and realize that as soon as you use the one, you're probably going to use the other in the next set.